It's NBA action on EA Sports. I'm Ed Cohen. Great to be joined by Jay Williams for what should be a terrific matchup here tonight. We're at Little Caesars Arena. Tonight, the Detroit Pistons play host to the Golden State Warriors. Opening tip controlled by the Golden State Warriors. To Thompson. Here comes the screen. Thompson. Durant. That won't go. To Drummond. shoot at the line. You never really want to foul a shooter, but if you do, ensure they're going to have a tough time converting. That's good knowledge of personnel. Andre Drummond at the line. Knocks down the first. Two for two on that trip. It's Steph Curry with the rock. To Green. Thompson. Durant. That's off the side of the rim, no good. To Jackson. Drive on the baseline, but his shot stays out. That's superb defense. That's the defense getting there from the weak side early and making the player short on the shot. Reggie Jackson defended by Cousins. To Drummond. Able to convert inside. Old school equals high percentage. Curry into the front court, trailing by four. Pistons have it. Blake Griffin against the former Cougar. Nothing going here on that drive. Goes to the left side. To Drummond. Ah, the monster stuff. Feed the big fella. Point to the passer. So good when you get everybody involved, in particular your bigs. You get them going, they'll run the court faster, and guess what? They'll set harder screens because they're actually in the game. Thompson to Curry. Let's it fly from beyond the arc. Great defense, forcing the miss. And look, sometimes you don't have it going every single night. Maybe utilize yourself as a decoy and get some teammates involved with your passing. Jackson to Drummond. They've slowed down the pace. Now three on the shot clock. Drummond. That out of his range and no good. Oh, working hard there. Collects the rebound and gets it back up for the slam. Safe to say notice has been served. Sometimes things go good. Other times things go great. Everything going that team's way right now. Deep three at the buzzer. That ends the first quarter. The Pistons with the lead.
Ed Cohen, Jay Williams with you as we get things started here in the second quarter. Jackson with it. 8 nothing is the score. Reggie Jackson, a couple of free throws on the way. A career 85% free throw shooter. And hits the first free throw. Goes two for two. Possession lies with Golden State. Green to Thompson. Probing the defense to Curry. Going to launch beyond the arc. That's good D. Shot no good. And there's always so much talk about defense. How about offensively? If you continue to attack that shooter, now you're making him work on the defensive end that makes him take his legs away on the offensive end. To Drummond. And it's rebounded by Green. Curry with the basketball. 10-0 is the score. Ellington against Klay Thompson. Oh, highlight moves. Tough to pull off with the defender all over you. Here's a chance from long range. Jackson with it. Looking to make something happen. Reset here. Let's see what they do. Jackson to Griffin. Shot clock coming down to four. Down to three. Griffin. That's off the side of the rim. Short. Durant across the timeline. Trailing by ten. Yes. Clay Thompson. He's finally on the board. Makes his first shot. You normally don't see that, but that's the type of thing that keeps shooters in the league for a long time. Every once in a while, they venture into the paint. Reggie Jackson against Cousins. The screen sets him up for two. It looks like he's using his ball handling to feel the game out. I know it looks like he's just playing around out there trying to get the fans going. That is true, but he's also finding his rhythm. To Thompson. Screen coming. Thompson doesn't have the touch. No good. I love when I see a good contest. You're crowding the player's landing space, which naturally makes him worrisome about turning an ankle on that landing. Great defense there, forcing the pickup. Deep left corner. Detroit with four to shoot. Griffin to Drummond. Has a look. Drummond shot, no good. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. And the bucket's good for DeMarcus. He's been doing this for years, the physicality in which he plays. No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Trying to cash in. Reggie Jackson, not that time. Desperation shot here from half court. It's good. And it gets them closer as we reach the end of the first half. That's it. First half has come to an end. The Pistons have the lead. Thanks, guys. Let's take a look at what went down so far in this one. The Pistons didn't hold back in that opening half when it came to their offense. Their offensive output has been amazing, and it doesn't look to be slowed anytime soon. They've been providing no shortage of highlights. These are the guys getting buckets for the Detroit Pistons. The Warriors have got themselves in a bad situation 
that seems likely to only get worse. At this point, it's all about pride and mental toughness. A comeback is not impossible, but it's also not likely. Have a look at the leading scores for the Golden State Warriors. First half stats. Player of the half. Andre Drummond put in the hard work that's needed to grab all of those rebounds. He was a rock for his team. Who was cold? Kevin Durant lost his shot and still hasn't found it. He can't claim a single point that was scored by his team, but he can claim quite a few of the three-point attempts. It's been a disastrous game for him. Here we go with the top plays from the first half. Number two. Number one. All right, back to the second half. I'll see you after the game. The possession in favor of Detroit. Here comes the screen. Sizing up the defense. Jackson to Drummond. Curry to bring it up. The deficit now up to five. Has a chance. Ah, Steph Curry. It's been a quiet night. Only three attempts, but he makes that one stick. He has an uncanny approach to the game. And did you see that? His eyes are his deadliest weapon. When he steps over half court, when he looks at the rim, that naturally throws the defender off. It makes the defender lean just a little bit. And just that millisecond of you wondering what he's going to do, splash is enough for him to exploit. Durant to Thompson. Let's it fly from long range and splash. Clay Thompson, quick catch and shoot there for three. I don't know how he saw his man out in the cut like that. That was nice. Jackson. Here comes the screen. Reggie Jackson, defended by Cousins. Shot clock to four for the Pistons. Has a look. Can't connect. The contest was good, but you being a nuisance was great. Continue to be that gnat that no matter how many times you swing at it, it never goes away. Screen coming your way. Screen coming your way. Durant to Green. Curry. Textbook defense. Shoot or shoot. Period. I don't want to hear any excuses. That's why you're on the floor. You keep doing what you're doing with that superior confidence. Jackson to Griffin. Off the mark. Thompson to bring it into the front court. It's 14-12. They'll get it down to green. Andre Drummond able to recover with the block. Right now, the Pistons have the basketball. Griffin to Reggie Jackson. Four three. Three homers in a game. How about a tough three from this Reggie Jackson? Even though the coach initially may not like that shot, now he's clapping because that ball hey, went in. Locked up, locked up. Here's Durant for two. Deep. Oh, Draymond with the putback slam. Jay, let's see if that's a sign for him. Well, he's been pretty much non-existent the first three quarters. But when you have a play like that, that can get the juices going, and that can help you with your offensive rhythm. And abuses the rim. Big finish for Andre Drummond. 
that one fly from half court. Three quarters down, the Pistons with the lead. The Warriors with the basketball to begin the fourth quarter. They trail to this point, but you'd have to say this one's up for grabs. And the new style we play with in this league, all it takes is three quick threes, and you're right back in the ballgame. Curry to Thompson. Gets it in the left corner. Thompson to Durant. Jumper's good. Kevin Durant. Dynamic once again. And giving it to you any way you want it. On the block, from the perimeter, mouse in the house, whatever the scenario is, Kevin Durant has an answer. Blake Griffin against KD. To Jackson. Doesn't get the bounce. Here's Curry with it up top. His guy's down three. Durant to Cousins. KD for two. Ah, Kevin Durant. Tough shooting. Only two for six after that make. How do you neutralize a threat like Kevin Durant? Well, that weak side defender constantly has to shade Kevin Durant and that primary defender. You have to funnel KD into help every single possession, contest shots, and hope that you can deter his vision and that he misses. Here comes the screen. Reggie Jackson sizing up Cousins. Detroit with four to shoot. Jackson buries it into three. Well, that change is inevitable. And one of the things that continues to fascinate me about this game, usually when you see a good three-point shooting team, their shoulders are square to the basket. That's no longer the case in today's game. These guys are off balance. They're moving different ways, yet they still have extreme shot-making ability. Green to Thompson. Five to shoot for Golden State. Green. Draymond Green. Consistent effort. He's at 50%. It just seems like everybody's getting more touches. I'm not saying who, but it seemed like the ball stopped in a certain player's hands, which forced the defense to become stacked. And he throws it down. Andre Drummond with the slam. And when you get your prescription, you take your medicine and you call it a day. Green. Pass stolen by Detroit. Turnovers like that at this point of the game are daggers. You can't afford to have empty possessions in the final two minutes. Down low for Griffin. Shooter, shooter. Won't go. And you have to remember that your hand is part of the ball. There wasn't enough contact on that play for the refs to blow the whistle. To Durant. Thompson. Durant. Ah, Kevin Durant. He's three for seven. Two points. Take them any way you can get them. There's the whistle and an intentional foul. Just their first in the final two minutes. So no free throws yet. They'll take the ball out of bounds. Okay, now look over to the sideline and see what the staff is trying to draw up on the next play. That's good clock management thus far. Now we get a whistle. They'll wrap him up with the intentional foul and a little over 20 seconds left to play. This is a close game, and possessions are at a premium. That's a good move to stop the clock. First one goes down. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. The follow won't go either. That is no good. Very curious shot selection right there. And now they'll get the intentional foul. Free throws coming up with 15 seconds to go. Good foul right there. You want to stop the clock. Misses the first.
second one's good. Splits the pair. Now the Warriors going to call a timeout. They're going to have to draw something up for an open look at a three. Durant. Not easy. Whistle stops play, and we'll get a timeout here for Detroit as they dig into their bag of tricks trying to draw up the game winner. Deep three at the buzzer. And he connects on the first free throw. Second one's no good. One more coming. We get a whistle and a timeout by Golden State. They trail by two. And the question, do they look for the tie in overtime? Or do they go for it all with a three? The Pistons are the winners as they win a close one by two. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen.
This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Pistons almost let this one get away from them, but they managed to get the victory. Look no further than their field goal percentage to see why they won this one. It's hard to lose when you got consistent offense supported by reliable defense. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Detroit Pistons. The Warriors lost a tight one today, and you can see the disappointment. This loss is sure to be all the more bitter because of how well they shot from beyond the arc. Their percentage from three-point range was outstanding. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Golden State Warriors. Game track. Field goals. From an offensive standpoint, this was a quality game. The same can't be said for the defense. But still, it turned out to be an entertaining matchup. Player of the game. Andre Drummond earned the award the hard way, and that's by doing it around the rim. He took the elbows, put in the effort, and came away with a significant number of rebounds. He did plenty to deserve the recognition. Who was cold? This isn't the segment you want to be in, of course. But even the best players find their way into this part of the show. Here's our top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. On behalf of Ed Coyne and Jay Williams, this is Jalen Rose signing off.